Hey y'all, it's your girl Rana Nicole back with another tutorial. It's time to get into this coffee and perk it on up and get into this video. So I'm gonna start off with skin prep as I usually do. I'm so excited, y'all. I finally got some more glossier. Um I ordered it for my pro kit, but of course I had to get some for myself and my personal kit. So I love their serums. I put that all on and I rub it in and then I follow up with this Caudalie uh, moisturizer that I've just been going through just trying to get rid of it's okay it's nothing to brag about not not this particular one but it's okay and then I'll prime my eyeshadow primer y'all see that glow already it's just serum moisturizer y'all like that's it like I love it so we are going to add this skin glass just to amp up that glow a little bit. I'm going to add this to the high points of my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead where the light seems to like catch. Now I'm applying my foundation. I usually just lay it down with a foundation brush and then I blend it all out with my sponge. I love to use a sponge to blend out my foundation. Just like press it into the skin and make it look more skin light and not just like sit on top. And now I'm going in with this uh, darker shade to help color correct and build coverage. It has like an orange tint to it. So instead of me having to break out an orange color corrector, I can use, use this foundation and it does the job for me. And now I'm just filling in my brows. I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So we're working out of the Urban Decay Heat Palette today. So I'm starting off with this shade here. I think it's Cayenne, I believe. And I'm just concentrating that color mainly um, just all over in like that transition color area. I don't know what to call it for me since I have such a hooded eye. It's just all over the puffy parts for the most part. I am just blending that all over with this fluffy brush, this soft fluffy brush. I love it. These brushes are by my friend. Um, Kyla Chantel, um, you should check her out. These brushes are so cute and soft. Um, and then I just use that same color, applying it to my lower lash line area. This is completely optional. I went in with this lighter shade to kind of help like connect it so that it just wouldn't be a blank space. It didn't make much of a difference, y'all. It's completely optional. Now I'm going in with a black liner um, just to lay down a base for my liner so you see that little dot up there yeah i messed up y'all when you mess up it's not that big of a deal you just take a makeup wipe and you wipe it off like look you don't have to get frustrated it's not that deep it's just makeup it wipes off you wipe it off, you keep going. And then I'm gonna go back in, you see, good as new. And then I'm gonna go back in, add some more um, eyeshadow so that that blank line space isn't there. And we're gonna keep it moving like the mess up never happened. And I'm also putting that um, liner in my waterline as well. So now I'm going in with the black eyeshadow, doesn't matter which one you guys. Um, and then I'm just stamping that over top of the, mm, not in my waterline, but I guess my lash line. Yeah, so on my lash line, my lower lash line, and on top of that um, eyeliner from before, just to like thicken up that um, liner line and just make it a little more bolder. Now that we are done with eyes, I'm going in with my concealer and I'm blending that out. Usually I fall out with black eyeshadow. I don't know about y'all, but I've gone through quite a few and I always seem to have fallout. So I love to do this step after I'm messing with a black eyeshadow for sure. And I take what's left on that brush and I also use that to just highlight under my brow, well, on my brow bone as well. And I'm going in with my sponge as usual, as usual to press it all in so it can all be blended together. And to set it all, I'm using my Fenty powder. I'm going in with this really soft, y'all, I love these Kyla Chantel brushes. You gotta get into them. Um, they're really, really soft. They're super, super cute. And they had these cute affirmations on them, on the handle. 
so nice but I like I love how um soft these brushes are so I'm just putting that powder in my t-zone where I want to control that oil and then I'm going in with my AJ Crimson foundation so that I can contour and add some warmth to my face and sculpt out these uh rounded cheeks of mine Okay, so I learned this. I saw um, this girl on Instagram. I think her name is Delana. I'll leave her information in the description box, but she's an amazing makeup artist. And I saw her put the duo glue on her lash line and not on the lash strip. So I thought I would try it. I like it. I probably won't do it on the client. That makes me too nervous, but I did like it for myself. Uh, for mascara, so this is a new tube of mascara. Quick little tip. If you wipe off the excess mascara, I know that sounds weird. Wipe off the excess on a, on a napkin or something. You don't have that runny, clumpy situation that I seem to get um, with a new mascara. Like the mascara is just like a little more runny the first week or two, if y'all know what I mean. Just wipe off the excess. I know you feel like, oh, I'm wasting it. Well, if you're like me, you get a new one every three months anyway, it doesn't matter. Like. Just wipe it off so that way it's not as messy. Now I am applying my blush, which I love. It's just a really cute wash of color, not too much. And then I go in and I go I apply my lip liner um, by ColourPop. And now I'm applying this uh, liquid matte lipstick. Y'all don't come for me. You got to give it a minute. Let it dry down. I know it looks a little weird now, but give it a second. Now I'm applying my highlighter, which is by MAC as well. And I just apply a little more lip liner. You see what you see how that dry down? Really cute. Mm-hmm. Y'all thought it's gonna walk around looking all crazy. Nope, not me. Not I said the duck. Um, but now I'm applying a little gloss just to give that juicy lip situation. And this is the finished look. Um this is my husband preferred type of makeup if I'm gonna wear makeup. Um, he likes the black stuff that I put on my eye as he call it, which is liner and gloss. That's that's it for him. He's a simple type of guy. He's my guy. But yeah, this is just a cute, simple, natural, glowy look. You got the glow going on. You got your lips popping. You got your lashes on. Just, you know, giving all types of flirty sexiness, you know? I hope you guys have a really good Valentine's Day. I've always loved Valentine's Day. I call it love day. It doesn't matter if you're in a relationship or not. I love to take my girls on a date when I'm around them, which I can't be this time. But I just, I love love. And I am sending you guys all the love which we need in the world. Anyway, hope you guys have a good Valentine's Day. And I will see you next week on another video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.